What's up guys welcome back to the channel so today when it comes to iOS I'll be happy to let you know that if you have an older device like I have here this is the iPhone SE first gen that you're seeing here and we have an update for this phone in 2024 Apple has really managed to prove me wrong when it comes to this and so this is iOS 15.8.2 it's available for different models of the iPhone here I have the iPhone 6s and it supports this update as well and if we go into settings and then go to general and go to where it says software update you can see i'm up to date and i've updated my device to ios 15.8.2 i've been using it for some time now and if we go to the about section you can see the information here the software build number that we have is 19h3 so that's the build number that you can expect when you update your device and of course this is an older device I don't use this on a main but or on a daily as my daily device it's more of a backup and when these updates come out I try and update most of my devices that you know support old updates such as these and then I'll be able to see what's changed but in case you're curious to see if you have storage or space for it you can see the update size comes in at 181.8 megabytes on the SE first gen and then on the iPhone 6s right here I believe I took a screenshot when I was updating so you can see for this one well I took a screenshot actually after I had prepared so it's it was slightly bigger than what I have on the SE first gen but if you have other devices such as the iPhone 6s or models the iPhone 7 or models the iPhone SE first gen is supported and also if you have an iPad such as the iPad Air 2 the iPad mini or the fourth generation and the iPod touch seventh generation it supports this update and of course you saw the new build number but according to Apple you can see that they tell us that this update provides important bug fixes and is recommended for all users and the the reason I have these AirPods here is that I tested them when it comes to wireless connectivity on Bluetooth and the connection time is now much better and the audio seems to be well constant there isn't like showering noise noise or that little bit of hiccups that used to show up before so at least that has been fixed and my wi-fi connection has been pretty good i've been doing speed tests and updating some of my applications that need to be updated i'm not done yet but let me just my battery actually went low a quick way to update your application if you hold your app store and then you go to where it says updates you'll be able to update most of your application so i've been doing that and you know looking through different applications to see if there's new pop-up screen we have one right here in podcast that you can see and then i believe there was one in wallet which i've already closed i didn't do a geekbench score test because this is not one that i'm expecting a lot of users to use but i have good news to report when it comes to this update because i've been looking into different forums and also looking into different videos that have already been made and it seems like for users that are on the iphone 7 models this update fixes a lot of things for them and they are pretty happy with this update it seems to be stable and fast and fluid so if you're having hiccups on the iPhone 7, this might be the update that's here to resolve most of the bugs and issues that you're experiencing. And of course, like Apple mentioned, stability and security is another thing. But here, for some reason, when we go to the Apple security page here about Apple releases, you can see in particular when it comes to this iOS 15.8.2 right here, Apple doesn't actually mention any CVE entries or common vulnerabilities and exposures because it says that this update has no published CVE entries. It doesn't mean that there isn't really any security patches all this goes to show that is that Apple hasn't really published anything as of yet but yeah there are bugs that have been resolved and network connectivity seems to be pretty good with this update now these are old phones that support this ios 15.8.2 i don't know how long in 2024 apple is going to continue to support these phones that are i think almost 10 years or something so 
if you are thinking of getting an old phone because it's still getting like an old software update like this one ios 15.8.2 it's not something that i would typically recommend because we don't know one for how long and at this point in time it won't introduce new features and changes it's always going to be about uh, security and bug bug fixes that patches most of the issues that have been exploited as well as you know stability of the device as well so for that in that sense you're sort of limited so i wouldn't recommend you buy any of these old phones for example that are on ios 15.8.2 the iphone 7 there's a pretty good amount of people that are still using some iphone 7 models and then these ones are that i have here are not the most popular devices but still they won't be able to get new features and changes even though they are getting this ios 15.8.2 update and we don't know how much longer it's going to be like this but very good for apple to at least patch some of the security uh, issues that have been exploited that we'll later learn of and that's about it for me when it comes to this update let me know if you're going to be updating your device and uh if you like the video leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one peace